Hello and welcome to this lesson video on uh, dozers, their types, capabilities, and production estimation. This video covers the shown uh, three learning objectives. Dozers are one of the heaviest and most powerful earthwork equipment, which moves the soil by pushing it, not carrying it. This is why dozers have no identifiable volumetric capacity like trucks or scrapers. Dozers are used in different applications like site clearing, soil pushing from cut to fill, ripping, and assisting other equipment like scrapers or even other dozers. Let's uh, see some details of material pushing using dozers. Dozers can be used for stripping the organic topsoil. Uh, larger dozers on cohesive soils can push the material for uh, larger, uh, longer distances. Uh, dozers can also be used for uh, backfilling by using the angle blade or pushing the soil toward the fill area with an angle. The dozers can help in spreading the soil uh, that's dumped by, uh, dumped by uh, other hauling equipment like dozers and scrapers. Um, Finally, dozers are equipped with uh, rippers on their backs uh, to loosen the ground to be moved by other uh, dozers or uh, scrapers. Dozers can be on wheels or tracks. Uh, wheeled uh, dozers are generally lighter and faster, but require favorable soil conditions and uh, surface. Crawler dozers are more heavy and uh, move on tracks. And this is why they can handle tougher uh, soil types, but at much uh, lower speeds. We can clearly see the difference between uh, wheeled and uh, crowler cranes by examining their performance chart. The left chart is for wheel dozer, while the right one is for a crowler dozer. The first big difference is the speed. Uh, wheel dozers can travel up to uh, 33 km per hour while the crowler dozer travels up to only 10 km per hour. The higher speed of the wheel dozer uh, requires having more engine gears. There are four gear uh, gears compared to only three gears for the crowler uh, dozer. The second big difference is power. The crowler dozer can exert around 72 uh, thousand pound uh, drawbar pull or usable power but wheel dozer can only provide uh, 54,000 pound uh, rimple. So in summary, wheel, wheel dozers uh, can uh, provide higher speeds while the crawler dozers provide higher push power. Another difference between wheel uh, and crawler dozers is related to the best surface to drive uh, each dozer. Wheel uh, dozers uh, with rubber ties have very high surface uh, traction on flat strong uh, surfaces uh, like concrete or asphalt but uh, crawler dozers have much higher uh, much uh, lower traction on the same surface type this traction comparison is flipped on the uh, clay uh, natural uh, surface where uh, crawler crawler dozers have more traction than uh, wheeled uh, dozers The dozer blade can have three degrees of uh, movement freedom. Uh, the blade can tilt to provide the required slope uh, in the cross-section uh, plan. Uh, uh, the blade can pitch up and down to control the angle and depth of the uh, soil cutting. Finally, uh, blade, uh, the blade uh, can angle around the vertical axis to help uh, inside casting the soil while the dozer moves uh, along the side of a fill uh, area. Dozers can be equipped with uh, four blade types for different operational needs. The straight blade or S blade is the common and standard type of general dozer uh, pushing operations. Uh, the angle blade or A blade can be angled and enables the dozer to perform side casting of the uh, soil. A universal uh, blade or type U uh, 
is uh, longer than the straight uh, blade and can push more soil with the help of its bent side uh, edges. Finally, the cushion uh, blade is used when pushing another equipment from the back like uh, scrapers. Here are some photos of the blade types. Let's uh, watch uh, analyze uh, the dozer uh, production From the video, we can model the dozer cycle uh, to follow three simple steps. The dozer starts by pushing the, the material forward and then uh, backtracks to the start of the uh, push line. Uh, and then do some maneuvering to adjust the direction of uh, blade for the new push. So the dozer, dozer production can be calculated as the production of a single cycle, which equals the output over input. The cycle output is the blade load of soil being pushed in the loose cubic units, and the input is the sum of the three cycle step steps, uh, step times. Let's see how to find the uh, each each term in the production formula. The push and uh, hold times both follow the same relation uh, of distance over uh, speed. You can get the distance from the side geometry or the average hold distance from the mass uh, diagram. The push speed is typically de dependent on the soil type. The dozer has a relatively faster speed for uh, loose uh, soil types as shown. You can figure out the return speed for, of, from the dozer performance chart by knowing the total resistance. The maneuvering time is a small value and it can be assumed to be uh, 0.05 uh, minutes. The last value that we need to calculate to be able to use the dozer production uh, formula is the blade uh, load. Let's see the different ways to calculate it. 
The dozer blade load can be estimated based on uh, simply the experience of the project planner, uh, superintendent, or machine operator. Another way is to use the manufacturer's uh, blade rating. The shown formula are provided by a famous equipment manufacturer for its dozers, and they calculate the blade load for uh, straight and universal blade blades. For straight blade, uh, the pushed volume is dependent on the blade uh, uh, width and height. The universal plate includes the same calculations of the straight blade plus an additional term to account for the extra soil held by the blade side uh, angles. A third way to calculate the blade load is to use empirical field measurements using the shown uh, formula. This way, th this way requires actual measurement of a sample uh, soil push which might not be feasible in some projects that require early pre-planning before the actual construction begins. This empirical approach is more relevant in validating those uh, dozer production rates. We can use the production curves published by the equipment manufacturer. Uh, the shown uh, chart is for caterpillar dozers where uh, each curve is, uh, relates the average uh, dozing distance to the production rate of a specific dozer model. For example, uh, a D7H dozer pushing the soil for a 300 feet will have a production rate of 200 loose uh, cubic yards per hour. The dozing production estimates are calculated for ideal conditions and should be revised to reflect special operational conditions. The shown table provides some production correction factors to adjust the estimates provided by Caterpillar. Let's see some examples of these correction factors. We can see the large correction factor of 1.2 to reflect uh, the positive production gains when pushing a soil that's already stockpiled. We can see similar positive production gains in the case of slot uh, dozing. and side-by-side -side dozing. However, small correction factors are su suggested for hard soil uh, types. This chart uh, shows the impact of grade on the dozing speed. The larger the factor on the vertical axis, the faster uh, the dozer will push the soil. It's clear that pushing upward on a slope will reduce the dozing speed. Dozers are really heavy equipment with serious uh, blind spots and limited visibility. The dozer operators are required by OSHA to buckle uh, the seat belt to avoid dropping from the seat due to the great vibration during the dozer movement. Also, a good buffer distance should be kept uh, between the dozer and uh, any excavation edge to avoid serious safety incidents like the one uh, shown in this photo. Generally, uh, clear visibility for the dozer operator should be maintained and sufficient lighting should be provided in night operations. This concludes this lesson on dozers. Thank you for watching.